hello and welcome to our channel in this video we are fixing discord a download error discord came out as a free alternative for teamspeak and skype and it offers a great solution for voice chat options gamers need to fulfill their game experience the program itself is however not so perfect and there are quite a few errors users have to deal with in order to get the program to start properly there are quite a few ways users manage to get through the installing error which usually appears when a new version of the tool comes out. It's recommended that you try out all of the methods we are going to show you in this video and we are certain that one of them will work for you. Let's go to solution 1. The first solution that we have is to delete a couple of folders. Deleting the Discord folders located on your PC at certain locations is actually one of the best ways to temporarily solve the issue and get through the installation process without receiving errors. The process itself is quite simple so make sure you follow the steps carefully. First of all, close Discord from running completely by quitting it from the system tray at the bottom right part of your screen and make sure there are no running processes related to it in the task manager. On the right bottom side of your screen, right click on the Discord and then click on quit Discord. After that, open the task manager and make sure there is no process running relating to Discord. You can press Ctrl, Shift and Escape key to open task manager or you can right click on the taskbar and click on task manager. When you are here, click on more details and search for the processes related to discard. Right click on the process and click on end process or end task. Second step is either click the start button or the search button next to it and type run. Right click on the start button to click on run or Click in the search bar and type run. Or you can also press Windows and R key to open the run dialog. In here, type percentage app data and then percentage again. Now hit enter. When you are here, locate the discard folder. Right click on it and then click on delete. Now, go back to run dialog by pressing Windows and R key. Type percentage local app data and then percentage again. Now hit enter. From this directory, locate the discard folder and delete this folder as well. Now check if you're able to go through the installing process without errors and after restarting your computer. The second solution that we have is to run the update manually. Since this error usually occurs when a new version of the app emerges, it's logical to think that there is something wrong with the updating process. This can sometimes be fixed by engaging the updating process manually and with administrator permissions, which is an easy thing to try out so make sure you don't skip this solution. First step is to go to the folder by pressing Windows and R key. Type percentage app data percentage. This will bring up the temp folder of or in the context of the current logged in user. Now Locate the updater file which should be named accordingly like discard or something like discard or anything relating to it. Right click on the file and choose run as administrator permission. Choose a version of the app which you had installed before the updating process engaged. If you are not certain about it, you can even choose an older version. After you finish, run the discard app as admin as well and check if the issue is gone. Third solution that we have is to update everything on your computer. Updating your operating system and some of the essential components installed on it is crucial if you want the program to start working. Additionally, it's in your best interest to keep your PC up to date with the latest updates so following through this solution is too sure to help 
your PC and probably your Discord installation as well. Windows 10 usually updates itself automatically, but if there was something wrong with this process, you can always check for updates manually. Press Windows and X key, or you can also click on right click on the Start menu. So let's click on Windows PowerShell Admin. Click on Yes for the USC prompt. Now in the PowerShell console, type CMD and wait for the PowerShell to switch to command prompt like environment. In the CMD console, type W U A U C L T dot E X E space forward slash update now. Now hit enter. Let this command run for at least an hour and check back to see if any updates were found and are installed successfully. It's also vital to update and verify the integrity of your Microsoft.NET Framework installation which should be updated fully. Even if you have the latest version installed on your PC, you will need to test its integrity and even repair if it is necessary. We have given a link in this video's description. Visit that link. Let me open that link here. So here is the link that we have given in the video description. Download this file and install the latest version of Microsoft.NET Framework. Remember that you will need constant internet access to install this latest framework edition. After installing this latest version, it's time to check its integrity. Let's close the browser, press Windows and R key, type in control panel and hit enter. Now click on an installer program. Let me switch back to the view of category. Let's click on uninstaller program and then click on turn windows feature on or off. Make sure you locate the .NET Framework 4.x entry and make sure it's enabled. If the checkbox next to .NET Framework 4.x is not enabled, enable it by clicking the box and click OK to close the Windows feature window and reboot the computer. If .NET Framework 4.x is already enabled, you can repair .NET Framework by clearing the box and rebooting the computer. After the computer has restarted, re-enable .NET Framework and restart the computer again. Next step is to verify that .NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1 is enabled by locating in the same list and clicking the checkbox next to it. If the checkbox next to .NET Framework 3.5 is not enabled, enable it by clicking the box and click OK to close this window and restart the computer. After trying this solution, see if you are able to get through the error. The next solution that we have is to disable the real-time scanner on your respective antivirus. Disabling real-time scanning is definitely the top solution for users who have any antivirus installed on their computer and it solves the problem immediately almost every time. It appears that their real-time scanning feature does not cooperate well with Discord and its services and it prevents it from connecting to the internet properly. That is why you must disable it for a couple of minutes until the update is installed properly. The option is different for each antivirus tool so make sure you visit your antivirus program's website for complete instruction on how to disable it. The next solution is to add the Discord folder to your antivirus exceptions list. Some antivirus tools sometimes prevent the program from connecting to internet properly and they block it under false suspicion. The whole confusion can be avoided while disabling your antivirus but then you are leaving your computer unprotected from external threats which is definitely not recommended for anyone as a permanent solution. That is why you can add Discord to exception on the antivirus tool you are using. You'll need to open your antivirus user interface by double-clicking on its icon on the desktop or by double-clicking on its icon in the bottom right part of your taskbar.
The exception setting is located in different places according to different antivirus tools. It can often be found simply without much hassle. On your screen, here are some locations for the most popular antivirus tools. The default location to the required folder is usually the same on all Windows operating system and it goes like C, your username, app data, local and Discord. Our next solution is connecting to the hotspot on your phone. If you are not using your home network to download and install Discord, it's quite possible that the administrator of the network you are connecting to has blocked several ports used by Discord to connect to its servers. If that is the case, you can avoid this issue by generating a hotspot on your mobile phone in order to connect to it and avoid the restrictions. For Android users, first of all, you need to possess an Android phone with an active mobile data connection. Make sure you have enough data to cover the updating process or else you might run into trouble and spend more money than you are supposed to. Pull down the menu on your Android phone and click the gear icon at the top right corner in order to open settings. In the settings app, click the mobile hotspot and tethering option and click on mobile hotspot. Choose the password you want by clicking the current one and click on the slider at the top right part of the screen to turn the hotspot on. The iOS users can open the settings on the iOS device and click on the cellular option. Click under the Wi-Fi password if you wish to change it and slide the slider next to the personal hotspot text to on. The seventh solution that we have is to delete everything Discord related and retry. The steps in this solution are quite simple to follow if you are careful and it helps several users to fix their problem. Even though some of the steps may look weird and unnecessary, but good luck. Close Discord from running from your taskbar. Right click on the Discord and click on quit Discord. And then kill all the processes related to Discord. Open the task manager by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Escape key and then find out Discord from the list and click on End Task by right clicking on the process and clicking on End Task. Once this is done, open Libraries and navigate to this PC. Click the search bar at the top right part of the window and search for Discord and hit Enter. Once the search is completed, delete all the files which are displayed as a result. Restart your computer and create an account on Discord and download the latest version. Instead of clicking the file immediately on the browser, right click on the downloaded file and open the location where the file was downloaded. Now locate the file where it was downloaded, right click on the file and click on run as administrator. Install it and see if the problem is resolved. The eighth solution that we have is to fix the broken pack. It appears that a broken package which fails to extract itself is causing these issues in some cases and this can be fixed manually by extracting the file yourself using a special tool such as IZARC. The process is actually simple enough but be careful. Run the Discord setup.exe installation file you downloaded and wait for the error message to appear. You can see this error message in this video. After the error has appeared, either click the start button or the search button next to it and type run or you can press Windows and R key to bring up the run dialog. Now here type percentage local app data local app data percentage and then a backslash and then scroll temp hit enter once you are here locate the file name discord hyphen 0.0.291 hyphen full dot nupkg and copy and paste it to the directory where you wish to install discord after that open the file with an archive tool such as IZARC, which is confirmed to work and extract its content. Open the lib lib backslash net45 backslash folder in the same location and run discord.exe and see if it opens. 
The last solution that we have in this video is to perform a system restore. Unfortunately, this last method is sort of a last resort which works for users who have tried out all of the other options and still failed to fix the problem. Make sure you restore your computer to a restore point before the error started to occur which will bring back the original version without errors. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.